today I'm gonna show you a birthday card that I made for a friend who turns 30. It looks like this and there are two kittens on the front sitting in a shoe and if you look at it the sideways you will see that it is actually a three-dimensional picture. The, it means that it's built up with different kind of layers. So that kitten is in the back, that one is in the front and then the shoe is in the really front so you can have a nice three-dimensional effect. And uh, then we have this pattern paper here, two brads and a sign that says 30. And that's the front side. And on the inside we have some decorations here. And then we have this gift card punch. You can put money there as well if you want. I put a gift card for Ikea. So she can go and shop there. And uh, that's the way you put it in there. You can put money as well or some other gift cards. Your greeting comes here and uh, shiny and on the back side nothing special just my little signature it was really easy to make this card and i have to apologize right now because <clears throat> i have a flu a cold so my voice is a little bit cracky and i'm snotty and just a mess so sorry if i sound a bit uh, uh, well rusty because i have a flu so i'm i'm a little bit sick but that's okay, um, it's winter time, so that's normal. But I apologize for any sneezing or anything. I'm just a little bit rusty right now. So, uh, to make this card, this one was really the big thing here. Well, the main thing. And that is actually one of these 3D sheets. And here you have all the different kinds of... There's a flower in a... In a basket and some butterflies but this is the kitten and I bought two of these but when I got home I realized that hey I could have just bought one and use a scanner and before I punched them out I would have just scanned this in my copy machine or scanner and then I could have printed out on watercolor paper or some other sturdy paper not just the normal printing paper that's too thin in my opinion so a little bit more um, thicker paper, maybe watercolor paper or some a little bit more thicker office paper and that's the way you can make many so if you buy one of these you can scan it and then print out many of these so that's what I'm gonna do with this other piece I'm gonna save it and scan it and use it for other projects but basically <clears throat> excuse me basically you just punch out these different pieces and here are numbers so that's one number one that's number sec second and you just glue them on together with dimensional double-sided tape i use this tape because it's kind of thick you don't have to use this thick you could use something uh, not so thick but depending on the thickness that's the more it's gonna pop out don't use just really flat double-sided tape because then it's not going to be the, the 3D effect. So you need something a little bit more thicker than normal. And I cut them out and I rounded the corners with my corner puncher and I glued them on top of each other and then I used my Distress ink pad and I used tea dye so I got this little brown color here on the edges. And then I just glued this on on this paper. I glued it on flat so the, the first layer has no dimension underneath. It's just really flat. And this is a A5 card. I think this is A5 and you, when you fold it in half it's going to be A6. <clears throat> and on the front here I just cut out with Victorian scissors by Fiskars. They look like this. These purple ones, kind of my favorite ones. I use them for many projects. I cut out this brown paper and it's kind of like um, suede or something. Not really suede. Kind of like, I don't know what. Um, leather yeah as you see it it's a little bit like leather pattern but it's really just paper and I cut out the brown and I glue on top this orange golden shiny paper in the middle and then I decorated the inside the same thing here cut out a line and then I cut out with the Victoria Sis Fisker scissors the other golden paper here or orange bronze maybe bronze perhaps or orange and this is gold, so it's a little bit different colors, but you could 
match the colors better if you want. And then lastly, I put on these brads. And brads look like these. They are just like that, if the camera would like to focus. <laughs> and you put them through the paper and you open them up like that once they are true. So it will look like that. But I did that lastly and maybe that was wrong because as you can see, I should have done it before I put on these decorative elements here because then I could have easily, that bread I could have hide underneath this paper. But since I did the paper first and then I put the brads on, so that's why you can see them on the back side. If you don't want that, then you should put the brads on first and then try to hide it on the inside. I don't think it, it bothers me too much, but yes, a little bit. That one could definitely have been underneath this paper. So be careful with brads. But I just put them there. I thought it was a nice little touch. And they look like this. They have different kinds of brads in shops. And then the circle here which says 30, it has a little pop-up. As you can see, it's not really flat. That is actually a sticker. And originally it says Kitos. And Kitos means thank you. And I didn't want to have anything that says thank you on this because it's a birthday card so I just took one of these and I thought okay I need to change this but how am I gonna do that so I took my uh, puncher which is oval puncher and I took this shiny paper it has a shimmer to it almost identical to this one not really but almost I tried to get as close as possible and I just punch out a hole as you can see there and then this is by Xcut by the way and then I just took these stickers and I, I have used a few because I had other birthdays card, birthday cards to make. And I took a two, three and a zero and I glued them on. And once again I used the, 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 the dimensional tape and got the, it there. So that's why it stays up a little bit and you can see now it says 30. So I managed to hide Kitos. <laughs> but... Um, you don't have to do that. You could do whatever you want, but I, I like this one, but I didn't want Kitos there. I wanted 30. So it's a little bit different color, but um, but still, it, I think it's okay. So that's how I got that one. And um, inside, nothing fancy here. Just the same uh, scissor and just the leather paper that's actually not leather, but it feels a little bit leather. I cut out a square and again I used this one to make this oval here so it's easier to get the card in and out. It just looks nice. You could leave it a square if you want. You could also round the corners. I forgot to do that. I probably should have. But I left it like this and you glue here, here and here. Don't glue up here because otherwise it's going to be impossible to... Oh there it's going to be impossible to put the card inside so only the sides and um, freehand the greeting here and um, nothing special and the paper is really it has this nice texture to it almost like nature real like like it's recycled paper it feels a little bit like recycled paper so the whole card is sort of like um, recycle feeling to it. Nature, um, well not really nature, but this kind of old recycled feeling to it. So I, I think it's it's kind of nice. I don't use brad so much, so I need to use them more. But uh, this is the card that I made this time. And thank you for watching and have a great day. And if any questions, please let me know. And see ya. Thank you. Bye bye.